Hey, everybody. I guess I, I want to tell you guys on YouTube, I'm doing something different. We haven't did this before. I'm with Prison Architect. We're going to do a great show today. Check it out. Obviously, don't send anything or anything like that, but enjoy this show. This is going to be great. You're going to see me actually uh, review some prisons, tell some stories, and uh, you guys can then email me, comment, do whatever you want after that. And I'm with Daria, who is uh, going to be narrating. She's like the host of the show. So she's going to run me today. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So take it away, Daria. Yes, hello, everyone, and <laughs> welcome to this awesome panel with our favorite and special guest, Larry Lawton. You, if you're a Prison Academic fan, you know him for his hilarious stories and for his unique way to roast our community's prisons. <laughs> and we're here for that today. And as Larry already mentioned, my name is Daria. I'm community developer for Prison Architect, and I'm very hyped to be here today. For those who don't know Larry, since uh, it's uh, PDXCon is actually for all Paradox brands, here is a short introduction. And Larry is an American ex-convict, an author, and motivational speaker. And if you know, if you have seen our schedule, this this segment is called uh, Tales of a Reformed Jewel Sif. And Larry, can you tell us a little bit about this funny story? Well, yeah, I tell you a lot of stories, obviously, everybody who knows me. But well, I was the biggest jewel, jewel robber in the United States. I robbed between 15 and 18 million dollars. I ended up going to prison for a long time, four 12-year sentences. Uh, I did my time. I had a rough time in there. I ended up getting my law degree in prison and fought the system because uh, it's so broke in the United States. Uh, so the people in Europe, good for you guys. I mean, I think it's great that you guys have more proactive uh, prisons. So I end up telling stories. And if you went to my YouTube, you'll see the uh, Gangster Redemption series is actually the number one series on YouTube uh, and playlists. So it's a lot of fun. I tell crazy stories. I like Daria. She says funny stories. Some of them are hard. Some of them are pretty crazy. And they, I guess they could be funny. I, I, people do say I, I, could, I could make them laugh or smile. I try to do that because I think it helps me as well. I think uh, we all, all benefit from uh, living a little bit better life. And I love working with Prison Architect. We've been working for a while. And, and, and I'm just going to give a teaser. We got something coming out in about two weeks. It's pretty wild. You guys will love it. I know my guys will love it. And you'll be able to do a lot of stuff with what's coming out. So you enjoy that. And that's coming in two weeks. You can ask us on uh, my stuff and we'll, we'll get back to you on that. Can't tell you what it is yet. I just got the gag order. So, uh, and I have to listen to them. So, you know, it's their thing. But uh, we're going to have fun today. Tell some stories. I'm going to look at some prisons. Uh, obviously, if you have comments, you can comment. Daria might be able to see them or not. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, they're running the show. I'm their their guest, and I love doing this because when I look at prison, so many memories come back, and how to get out, how to escape. Is it right? Is it wrong? And you know, they even know. I tell it like it is, so I'm not gonna, you know, pull any punches here. Even though it's their show, I don't pull the punches. So I think that's a little bit of an intro for them, Daria. That's an awesome intro. Thank you so much. And you know that. That's exactly what you, we love you for. So <laughs> please just be yourself. <laughs> and I think we're actually ready to uh, switch to the gameplay and review the first prison. And it was submitted by... Let me check the name of the person. Sorry, technical problem. It was submitted by Morris, and he calls this prison Blue Ghost. Uh, I think it's a very neat, organized prison, to be honest. I really love how it looks. Uh, Larry, do you think that this, this uh, setup actually resembles the real prison? Well, you know, there's good and bad in it, right? Off the bat, I don't see the administration up close to the road. Uh, you're going to have the most uh, uh, administration. You're going to have where they can set up their SWAT teams. They could do a lot. They have forestry and stuff in the front of the prison. That wouldn't happen. You want to have the visiting room as well, which I, I, I'm not really where I'm looking. 
Uh, you'd like the visiting room to be closer to the front. Again, you don't want people walking through your prison in any way, uh, shape, or form. So it had, but it's good. It's got a perimeter. It's got the walls. It's got security. Well, well done. Uh, it's well lit, which is very good. Obviously, they can light up a place and light up a, like a forest, and uh, they can take that thing. But I'm not, you know, there's a couple of little things that, that are good. He has too much concentration like the yard is a pretty small yard. Yeah, that's a small yard area uh, for th a prison with X amount of people in it. Uh, so I think that that's another thing. You want a little bit of a bigger yard or multiple yards, depending on the security level of the prison. The housing units look pretty nice. I mean, I like that. This, you must be a European because Americans who make prisons, they make them tough. They make them hard. They make them where you really hate them. But uh, this is not bad. Their mail room, you can see that up on the top. That's, again, most of that stuff is going to be towards the front of the prison. So the uh, uh, when people come into a prison, they don't have to go through many buildings to get to certain places. You do have some offices up on the top. I see that. But there's no entrance unless there's an entrance I'm seeing on the top. But there's really no Normally, there'll be one entrance, main entrance, where everybody goes through in, in, in prisons. And I've been in I've been in so many prisons. I've been in six major uh, uh, prisons in the United States from all over the United States and the security level of maximum security prison. Uh, so, I mean, there, there's good and bad in all prisons, obviously. When I look at these, I also look at power, if I could check that out. Uh, also, guard to ratio. And when you have prisons like this that are making money, I, I, I don't like that because prison shouldn't be about making money. It should be about correction of people who make mistakes. Uh, obviously, look at me, uh, criminally insane wing. You have too many, too many. OK, let this is a good one. You got up the regime. Now you have showers at 7 a.m. You eat at 8 a.m. And where is your next time to eat? You don't eat until you're. 9 p.m. at night? What are you, starving people? Come on, who did this? You gotta feed people, <laughs> right? Come on, what do you got? You got yard time, where are you gonna eat? You know these people be going crazy for food. So for, you're not feeding someone for 13 hours later. That's a tough time, you try that. But uh, <laughs> obviously they have sleep from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., which is pretty normal. A lockdown is usually 10 or 11, and they do on that. They have work, work and lock up or whatever they call it. Free time won't be at 10 a.m. in the morning. That's a work schedule. Most work starts at 8 a.m. Not usually they feed at 7 a.m. in most prisons you're in. At 7 a.m. they start feeding and work calls 8 a.m. So you and that's because they have industries in prison, meaning they actually build things, uh, whether it's office furniture, battle dress uniforms, whatever it's going to be. So I, I do understand how that works. But, you know, that's the one thing I see a lot on the, on all prisons people make, that the feed times are all crazy. Uh, this one don't even feed you. I mean, you're going to get people killed. Uh, you don't feed them. And uh, free time is okay. Usually that's after after chow, which is usually at about 5 p.m. And they feed till 6, 6.30. And then they go to the yard, most people, and they recall at about 8 p.m., which they have that here, which is not bad. Here you got them going to eat at 9 p.m. Man, is that, is that a European thing? I got to know. It must be a European. Uh, but uh, so <laughs> they have, you also won't, in a maximum security and medium security, you won't have a mingling like they are. That's why you wouldn't have one yard like that. You won't put a maximum security inmate with a medium or a low inmate. That would never happen. Criminally insane as well would be in a whole different wing Whole different. Even the United States, we have one, which is, we don't, I, I don't like. We have one uh, prison that has a death row. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure your country doesn't have the uh, death penalty. And I don't believe in it. And it's crazy. So I've seen many crazy people in prison, and but they're not classified in the United States as criminally insane. That's a whole different prison, whole different area. And it's sad because in the United States, they actually use the prisons as mental institutions. And again, it's whacked out. But uh, I understand everything here. Uh, again, the prison, you said it regards the phones. 
Oh, look at this. I like that when you pull up a person. That's pretty good. Hey, guy, you got the guy almost looking like me. He's got a goatee with a little of the hair in the back. I don't know. I can grow back. <laughs> that is funny. So, yeah, yeah Regine. That's nice. But do you, do so, you think that this, uh, this, this prison, uh, if the inmates have as much uh, freedom of movement as in game, I mean, compared to this, this prison that we're reviewing right now? Well, uh, okay, let me give it this way. In all prisons, especially maximum security prisons, is you can only move certain times. Like in the United States, it's you move on the hour. So from 8 to 8.10 is movement. Then they shut the prison down, literally. Here they're all over the place at all times. But they'll have work call. Everybody goes to work, goes the way they're going, and they're done. They stay in that place until the next move. And they call it moves. So you're not, you do not have freedom like you see here. Uh, you'll see pe people in their cells, people working, see everywhere. Usually you don't see that. You'll have people who clean the units and stuff like that. They're called orderlies. Uh, and, but that's their job. They actually get paid. And the United States is so crazy. They get paid $5.25 a month. A month. So, yeah, they have a lot of movement that you wouldn't see. And look at them all going into the chow hall. You see them all going into the chow hall? That wouldn't happen. Yeah. They they break it down into times. So they'll say, okay, unit A1, chow. Now they'll let them start filtering back out. Because if somebody wants to get killed, you want to get a guy right now. Look at that mess. You could stab him and nobody would know what's going on. Uh, you could kill somebody right there and, and nobody would know what's going on. Uh, obviously, that's that wouldn't happen in a real prison. So... Uh, the movements here have to be more controlled. They call them controlled move. Uh, and they would probably separate. You'd have to separate security level prisoners. If you don't separate those uh, security level inmates, you're going to have, again, you, when I was in a maximum security prison, if you put a guy who's in a low or a camp who just did some bullshit, I mean, you're going to get me to say, well, I'm going to take his I'm going to take his food. I'm going to take his, uh, you know, his commissary. I know that sounds harsh, but that's prison. You know, it's an it's a doggy, you know, doggy dog world. There's two types of people in prison, uh, Daria. There's predators and prey. I was a predator. That doesn't mean I preyed on people, but I had the mentality, the physicality, the uh, street smarts to be a predator. Then there's prey. People like a guy who's going to a low. He's a, a doctor who did his, you know, didn't pay his taxes. He's going to pray. You're going to put him with me. He's going to be prey. And uh, I don't know how prisons in, in, in Europe work. They are more rehabilitative. Everything where you're at is more rehabilitative, which I love. And you know, you also, do you see this guard? There's guards running around with a gun. You'll never see that in a prison, any prison. There's no guns inside the prison, period. Because those inmates can take over that prison at any time they want, area, anytime. And you'll never see, you don't want inmates with guns. So you won't see, see the guy right there on the bottom? No, to your right, the other one. Or there, uh, yeah, see, you'll see a guard, a guard running around, there he is with a rifle. You don't, you don't see that. You don't see, you don't see dogs either. Only specific times when they want to search for drugs or something of that nature. So you won't see guard dogs, uh, but you, and you won't see, look, yeah, like a rifle. You will never see that uh, because no guns are inside a prison, period. No guns at all. And, uh, and they do that on purpose. Now, we had gun towers. I don't see any tower. Oh, I do see a tower. Go down here to the other way. Yep, there. Now, you'll see the towers has guns, and they have a good uh, view of the whole place. Sure enough, they'll shoot you quick, too. I've been on the yard where they actually shot down on the yard. I like when they're sleeping. I like the timing. You know, right now it's 1130. You know, now is when the crazy people are out. You know, you're drinking, you're partying in your cell. You're, you're doing the crazy stuff. But this is pretty nice cells. You know, we didn't have this kind of stuff. You know, yeah, they're big. They're they do look cells. comfortable. As much as yeah. they can be comfortable, considering it's a prison. <laughs> exactly. I mean, they look like a pretty nice, pretty big prison cell. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing they got their toilet. Each got that. You won't see two toilets. There's always one toilet in a cell for sometimes three people. 
and you're locked in there. And it is what it is. It's not pretty, you know, but, you know, you tell a person when you sit on a toilet, turn your head, you know, don't look at me. And uh, I know it sounds hard, but it is. I mean, they don't make prisons uh, uh, good. I don't also see, uh, do they have a backup electrical system in this prison? I don't Let's know. See. Because if, if they no, lose power, I don't think that they have. If they lose power, they're in big trouble, you know? And you don't want that. You don't want them to lose power at all. Uh, and it does happen. But you see the way over here in the beginning of the prison right there? Right there. Up, oh, yeah. That's where the people come in. And they would have, most buildings would be attached to that. And then the power plant's just in the middle of nowhere. Usually that would be outside the prison. Because if somebody can get to that power plant, they can control the prison. They would be outside the prison or the wall, number one. And then you wouldn't be having to walk anywhere to go through there. You'd go right from another building to another building to another building. So if you're building prisons out there, anybody, make sure you get your the front of the prison is where your parole is going to be, your visiting is going to be, your mailroom, the warden's office, the administrative offices are going to be in the beginning. Right there. You don't have to walk through stuff. To get to it, you know, you might walk ten feet to go from there into the a minute. And the first thing you'll see is R and D. It's it's called receiving and discharge, and that's where when I came into a prison, they would walk you through there. They process you. You got to do the whole thing: strip naked, lift up, turn around, spread, do it all work, and then they change you out, and then they bring you to the hole in the United States. I don't even see the hole here. Where is the shoe or the hole? I, I'm not seeing that. Yeah, nothing, nothing. But if talking about, you know, uh, the reform program that is standard here in uh, Nordic countries that, that you mentioned already, uh, do you think that the U.S. will start focusing more on rehabilitation programs? I know that there are in some prisons, they are actually available. Maybe you have some insights about that as well. Sure. Rehabilitation programs are important. You're right. Nordic prisons are very good at it. And it's really beneficial, uh, Daria. And I'll tell you why. What people don't understand about prisons. People say, oh, they, they shouldn't get any education or they shouldn't get any help or is they're a criminal. They rob people. It is. Although that is true, Daria, who do you want getting out of prison? 98% of all inmates are getting out. 96%, whatever it is. So if you got a guy who's getting out and he's educated, he can get a job and he wants to help people and he's not bitter against the system, you know, the, the whole entire government or whatever, you got a better person to be real baited. And here's what you save. You save more victims because do you want a guy living next to you who doesn't care and doesn't give a shit about anything before you know it? He, he kills you or he, he has no more hope and he robs you. You don't want that. You want a person who has hope, who wants to be a taxpayer who wants to uh, help people maybe. And that's the kind of person you want. So I'm a big on rehabilitation. I am huge on rehabilitation. And sadly, the United States is terrible on that. And uh, it's something that, 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 that really hurts me personally for the United States. I wish they would get off their asses. And this country has all the money in the world. Uh, they can do what they want. But it's sad, Daria, because they don't want to help you. They want, it's punishment. It's, Put them in it for put them in out. And, I, and now in the United States, they have private prisons. That means a business will make money on, on, on a person incarcerated. So do you think he wants to rehabilitate that guy? Of course not. They make money when he comes yeah. back to prison. So it's kind of pisses me off. But I mean, I, I boy, do I wish I could run this shit. You don't realize how much I want to run these places or the whole system because it can be changed. It could be changed if they care. Obviously, I don't know if they really care. The, uh, I'm looking at how you do it. And don't mind me turning because I have the prison on two screens. And I can see it over here. Now, look at that shower. You see how many people are in that shower? Could you imagine what's going on in that shower? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, let's not focus on that. It's, uh, you know, yeah. um, it's, 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 it's a fa family family welcome stream. So let's not focus on that. Okay, we will Put it this way, that's not a good place to have that many people. Uh, yeah, and you wouldn't, you, know, you wouldn't have that many people in here. Uh, I, I wish they could. The canteen, 
They got parole officers right next to the kitchen. Yeah, come on, guys. You can do better than that. Now, this one, execution chamber. You know, you won't see that. In, first of all, you don't see that only specific prisons, period. Uh, obviously, Nordic prisons. I don't think you have the death penalty. No, we don't I, have that. But that's uh, that's uh, actually uh, an, a second prison we're reviewing right now from another community member. And okay. um, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually interested yeah i'm very interested why why you mentioned uh having the office near the kitchen is a bad idea having the offices near the kitchen yeah sure i think you mentioned yes why would you put food next to place where there's going to be people coming and going it would be too easy for someone to duck into one of those offices and maybe walk out with a parole officer or change somebody some change somebody's clothing or uh, a try for an escape. It could be someone who passed a knife or passed something. Your kitchen is going to be a separate place off to the side where people have to come. And then when they come out of that kitchen, a lot of times you get searched. So uh, this prison you know, I'm looking at right now, Daria, has too many dark spots, uh, as you can see. And that's not good. And that they're literally it's dark and very yeah. uncontrolled. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and, you know, I, I never like to show people like he has the administration security coming in pretty good and then he coming into a staff room and stuff of that nature. So that I get you wouldn't have showers up there unless they're, uh, I guess, uh, showers for uh, the guards. But I, you wouldn't have four showers up there. I mean, I wouldn't get that. All of that up there should be administration. And it is some of it. Staff room security. Armory would be up there. That's all true. Again, no power. Look at the darkness on the wall. That would never happen. The first thing they do is put big time uh, a visitation. Look where visitation is. See where visitation is? It's way, way on the other side. See it? That that wouldn't happen either. You yeah. Know, you have the you have a road going through the middle of the prison on both sides. You would never see that as well. Because they want to secure it the best way they can. And you'd have too many egresses, places to get in, places to get out. People are walking across the street like you're in Times Square, New York. <laughs> so <laughs> that that wouldn't happen either. Uh, it's yeah, Look at that. The trucks coming and going. You Look at this. The inmates, people. You know how many people would escape from this prison? I would escape. <laughs> But uh, uh, yeah, I think I think this prison definitely looks like the riot uh, is about to happen. Just give it some time, and <laughs> we'll see them rioting. <laughs> you know what I do notice though, and I, and 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 I I know this is something I don't know how the game works per se for this reason. I don't like to see profits. Uh, when I see fifteen thousand five hundred fifty three dollars profit in the green, prisons belong to be again places where then it's not a money maker you know uh you got a total of 50 expenses 52,000 income 67 you should take that money the difference the $15,000 and use it for something you're netting every day you're netting $15,000 that's crazy that's private prison stuff in the United States and Nordic prisons don't have that I know that uh I see this no, guy no, I seen Jafel do a prison before I think uh, and I don't know, again, way too many dark spots. So he needs power. Uh, maybe he didn't want to spend some of your money on power. <laughs> but look at him. Okay, what is it with you Nordic people? You don't like to feed people? Look at this. You're eating twice a day, <laughs> noon and 9 p.m. Am I missing something? Do you guys not eat three meals a day? <laughs> Um, actually, I mean, we do, but I'm, I feel kind of ashamed <laughs> a little bit <laughs> right now. Oh, come on. Now, look at this. Look at this also. You go to work, free time. Work time is 9 a.m. You don't eat till 12. You're going to tell a person to get up and go to work without eating? Wow, not, not in the U.S., that's for sure. Uh, work, free time, I get it. Please, everybody out there listening and watching, Give these guys three meals a day. Do that. Spread them out normal time. I don't know what you guys work in, in other countries, but United States, you work usually from 8 to 4, 8 to 5, whatever, 9 to 5. 
and then you have rec time, you do stuff. Make it where you do your showers in the morning, you get up, you do a shower, you go eat, you, have, you know, you can have a normal day like a regular person. You want to try to do that. One, you're going to get better work out of it, actually. Uh, this is a medium security, I noticed. Is that, am I correct here in the middle? It says medium uh, highlighted. Uh, yeah. Oh, you have max, medium, minimum. Look at that. Those maximum security inmates would take over that prison quickly. And what I mean by that is those those people are going to be tough. You have 12 of them will take over to 476 minimum security because that minimum security is the doctor or the banker, you know, who's bezeled money or something. He's not violent. Usually maximum security or violent inmates. I know I was maximum security. I don't want to believe I was violent, but I guess I was in my own way. I hate that, but uh, we all have our own crosses to bear. Right? The, uh, yeah. Now the uh, I do we don't like have it. much time left. I suggest we, we move to the next prison. And sure. okay. uh, while we are doing that, while we're loading the safe, I, I actually have another question that I really wanted to ask you. Like working in prisons is super common because what what else you'll be doing there, right? But what happens if uh, someone would refuse to do their part of the job, for example? Do you do you know oh, something about sure. that? Sure, uh, obviously. You, if you refuse to do what they say, you disobey an order, you could be put in the hole. Or the, in the United States, they call it the shoe, which is special housing unit, which is the hole, which means you are locked down 23 hours a day. You're supposed to get one hour of rec, no matter what, but they don't give you that. They have a great wording in the United States. It's called, for the safe and orderly running of the institution, we canceled recreation. We canceled showers. We canceled food. You, they don't have to feed you but twice a day. Uh, and, and now that's refusing work. Now, they're going to not put you to work, let's say, in prison industries, if you're a bad worker. You'll just, every time you get a, 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 like in one prison I was in, they had what they call battle dress uniforms. We actually made the battle dress. They're not going to put a guy who just don't give a shit. They're going to, because he's going to keep, he's going to put a, a, a leg on a sleeve. You know what I mean? He's going to mess mess your, your work up. They take a guy like that and they make him an orderly, which means he's watched more closely by the guard. He's going to, all his job is going to be to sweep out the, uh, maybe the rec rooms or the TV room or something of that nature. So they got to keep an eye on him. They're going to try to do everything they can. But if you start refusing them and you start bucking them, you go to the hole, straight to the hole. And that the hole is not a good place to be. Uh, what is this over here? I'm looking at your prison here. Why do you have forestry? Is that a big thing in Europe? Um, I mean, why not? <laughs> it's good recreational and uh, maybe uh, can influence mental health and help with the general mood improvement. <laughs> I, I believe me, I love the fact that you look like that. But in the United States, that would be nothing where people would get, would make shanks, would be able to hide drugs, hide things, uh, set up people. There'd be too many blind spots for killing a person. Uh, look at this. The power plants are off to the right. I like that. Now, what do you have over there? You have uh, staff offices. Okay. Staff room. Everything is there. Now, how do you get there? It looks like an island. <laughs> How do you get there? It is. It's water. You got to take a ferry over to get to the staff. Oh, that's not going to happen. So but, that's I mean, I it's called dead water, so it actually does resemble uh, its name. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I you think, I never think the idea behind this was to create this island prison. Well, they have island prisons, and that's good. Actually, Alcatraz in the United States was an island prison. Uh, that's a good thing, don't get me wrong, but you wouldn't have the staff where you had to take a boat. What happens if there's a riot? Everybody's, you know, at the staff room. What are you going to do? You know, you're going to uh, take a boat over and, and then attack and then they sink a boat or whatever. So I get that part of it, uh, but I would put the, make the island what it is. And if you have a true island, you wouldn't have the trucks. You see the trucks? So it's really not an island yeah. prison. You'd have to have a ferry getting into it. Like, in the United States, they had that. It's called Alcatraz. And and that's exactly what they did. So uh, I do get that and understand that 100%. Uh, visitation. Again, they're missing power. It's too dark in spots. Can you bring up the uh, the regime, please? 
Okay, there you go. Okay, you people, what are you doing? Feed these people twice a day, 8 a.m. again at 9 p.m. Oh, you mama. <laughs> Don't you guys like to eat? Look at me. I'm 240 pounds. I got to eat. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're, laugh you're laughing because I see these places and they don't feed people. That's, you know, Daria, this is a true story. The quickest way to a riot is not feeding people. The quickest way to a riot is not feeding people. And it would be a riot, to, you know, a couple of days when you don't feed people. Uh, that is number one. And they know that. And they try to even sometimes, that's why they give you what they call commissary. And you go buy your own food. We used to buy, I had money, so I used to buy peanut butter to get massive protein and stuff of that nature. But I'm waiting. So far, Daria, we've seen three prisons. Not one fed three times. Not one. So either all you Nordic people are very skinny and you don't care about eating. Maybe that's why America is so fat. Uh, <laughs> Again, power here is, is missing on this print. Look at all the dark spots. That would never again happen. Uh, what is that over there on the bottom with the car and, and the tires? Is that a repair shop or something? A garage? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that. it's a garage. Actually, there okay. is a, another another question that I wanted to ask you. I mean, how how much does the security uh, and freedom, you know, movement or other recreational uh, activities that prisoners may have uh, is different between low and high risk security sections. And I think that's going to be the actual the last question that we will be able to take since we have like five minutes or something left. So what, 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 yes, I, actually, Daria, there's a big difference between low security or minimum security, medium security. In the United States, we have a minimum, low, medium, and high. The high security prison is restricted movement. No matter what, you just can't walk around the place, do what you want. You have what they call controlled moves or 10-minute moves. In a low security prison, they have none of that. They can walk out. They can actually go outside. And they can do stuff like that. So I understand where your question was, and it's a great question. But yes, in the United States, and I have to believe that's the same way in Europe, you can't expect a guy who's a check forger or something like that, gets three, six months in prison, to ex accept the same kind of punishment as a guy who's a murderer. So a maximum security prison has a lot more security. They have metal detectors throughout the whole place. In a minimum security prison, you won't see that. They have, when I was in a prison, we had to go to three metal detectors to get to the yard. Three different metal detectors. And they will strip search you. They will do things off the bat. In a minimum security prison, they don't do that. They don't, one, they don't have the guard to inmate ratio. In a maximum security prison, they have more guards Uh, then they, you're not more guards, but more guards than a low security prison for the same amount of inmates, if that makes sense. So, yeah, there's a big difference between a low and a high. Big difference. Uh, obviously, let's, I'm looking let's at. Let's switch back uh, from the gameplay because we are almost out of time, and I want to properly thank you for being with us <laughs> today. Well, I, um, you know, I love it. Once I get into this stuff, Darry, I love it. I, I mean, my brain starts thinking so differently. And, and please, I want to tell your audience, will you feed people? Feed them! I, I'm actually going to order some food right after the stream because, yeah, talking too much about food <laughs> made me very hungry. <laughs> Thank you, Larry, for caring about all of us. And, yeah, guys, don't forget to uh, get hydrated, eat some food, get some snacks because there is an awards <laughs> show coming soon. And, Larry, thank you so much for being with us today. I love your roasting. I love how much you care about prisons and prison systems and how much you advocate for a better future and reform of this entire system. Uh, that's actually amazing. And I hope that we will be able to chat with you once more uh, because uh, our next DLC is coming very soon. It's actually uh, going to be released on June 16th. And it's about prison reform. <laughs> Can you imagine that? You know, uh, yeah, it would be, be a very interesting chat.
I want to thank you too, Daria. You guys are always been great. You do think the, the way the right way. And there's a surprise coming out. I'm telling my audience that. And obviously they'll see it maybe before due 60. I don't know. We'll figure if I can't steal something from you guys to show my audience. But you guys have been great. You're, uh, you're right. I love it because I get into it. And I really want rehabilitation in prisons and people to be real. Like I was. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I was a bad guy in the beginning. But people do change. We all change. And, and I want everybody to know that if you're messing up out there in life, don't worry, you can change. I got out of prison at 46 years old and now I'm getting old, but the, uh, you, you change, you, you, everybody can do it. So I really want to thank you guys too. Prison Architects is a great company. Thank you so much for your positivity and see you soon then. Bye-bye. Take care.